Hey Victoria, we're here at Aspen. It is a very prominent house on the corner. Uh, when I got here, there was an agent with two people, two older guys. So on the outside here, there is what seems to be a popcorn stucco. People do not love that, but so far, it looks like it's in good shape. Okay, we're gonna go in. As you notice in the pictures, linoleum flooring here. And I am going to, okay. So it looks like a lot of the trim has been untouched, which is rare. There is, this looks like retrofitted leaded stained glass on this. It's been nailed to the window here. Hall closet upon entry. Um, and we'll go over here. Radiant heat, central air. Oh, and um, they have some of the original push button lights. All right, so these definitely are unlikely to be the original pocket doors because they, well, they actually have some of the original hardware. So perhaps one of the few made with, it's very grand. Um, I don't know what the floor underneath this linoleum tile may be, but it looks like it's on a subfloor of some type. Um, So that was a grand entry. Here is into from the entry to the living room. It's been staged. All right. The windows are original with storms on top so far. Wood burning fireplace and just a built in here. Okay. Quite pretty. Um, looks like the the chase is in um, tact. Looks like a, a lot of the elect. Like there's cabling in the walls. The ceiling looks like drywall. So definitely has had updates along the way. Um, these floors look like they may have been newly prepped for this listing. Um, here. These are, someone really liked kind of the old fashioned look. These are just screwed on top of the original windows for effect. Um, so the wall between the dining room and the kitchen have not been opened up, but um, just a keyhole, peephole. Um, so it changes from floor. So you can see three floorings going on here. Original, a linoleum laminate, and another laminate. Oh, what's this kitchen dated? Maybe 80s? Wow, but it's real wood. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's spacious enough. Uh, you could put an island in the middle for now like a cart. Um, look at this, it has like a pantry from the, it's a proper pantry that leads to the half bath. I mean, I don't know if I love it or not, but it's kind of cool. Um, a replaced window here in the half bath to the backyard. And you can grab your toilet paper on the way in. Okay, so that is pretty much the first floor. Here is from the huge vestibule entry, but look at that. It's like a ceiling peephole above the closet there. Um, to the basement, and this is just like a little area way here. Okay, we're gonna go outside. Um, there's a door from the kitchen 
and also from the dining room. That's kind of nice. Uh, might be unneeded, but okay. So this sweet uh, screened-in porch. The screens are in really nice shape. I think that used to be like where you could deliver ice. It has now been painted shut. Um, again, that stucco, uh, stucco finish is in pretty great shape. That's good and bad. That means it's gonna be here for a while and not worth replacing it this time. So those are just pine knots coming through. I don't think it looks wet. And again, the screens are all in great condition. Okay. I just walked out back. Here are the storm windows. They're older. You can see how they are. They probably, you could probably just get storm windows for the windows that you really like. Um, so they're a little bit easier to use. The old ones are harder to function. Um, this is interesting. Oh. I wonder where the gutter goes. There must have been a gutter that once went in here um, from up there. Yeah, you can kind of see the other thing there. Okay, so wood shingling. Sometimes that wood shingling is actually asphalt, but it looks that this is actually wood shingling. And this is the... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going over to the side and it's dual zoned one, two for air conditioning, which is great because this house is big and these are high end. Um, and I think there was something in the disclosures about how high end they are. So we'll share that if you're interested. Okay. So, um, it does continue. There's some storage under the deck. Maybe room for a brewery? Just kidding. <laughs> um, there is some missing mortar joints, so it's soft. It's not, it doesn't, there's not a lot of brick here in this house, but there definitely is some repointing needs. All through the brick pillar. Okay. Okay, I'll come back out and do the outside um, on the sides in front after because I think they're back-to-back -back appointments here so as you can see there's an entry for the basement here and then this is the yard so it looks like it goes all the way to that fence there's no parking off street parking for this house well maybe there I'll go take a look in a second Oh, this is sweet. It's kind of like a pagoda foot. See? It's like a... Uh, the side of a... There's like some weather vanes here. Not sure what that pipe is for. But it would be good to find out. It also has still water in it. Okay. This is... The part of the yard that's not really being used, just grassy. And then it has, it's tiered. And then there's like a patio with like kind of like a Meridian Park, mini Meridian Park steps. Uh, okay. These are some non deciduous trees, I think. It's quite pretty. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, you actually, I mean, you could, it's a tight, it's tight here between these two granite pillars. Oh, these are cool too. Um, the sidewall will last for a while, but it's going to need some love at some point in the next 10 years. But I think you could fit a small car through here if you wanted. I don't know if you'd want to subject your car or driving skills to that. OK, 
Okay, so they have water runoff through this. Let's go down this way. All right, we're going to go back in. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. We're back in and we're going to go upstairs. outlet here it's kind of I'm pointing that out because in these old houses often we don't get those so there is like a four square landing here that goes to a many carpeted rooms room one bathroom gets the carpet oh wow two room two room three. Oh, it's really pretty though room four this carpet's in great shape so we'll start and then there's also in this landing stairs to the attic and a really deep linen closet with toilet paper okay we'll start with room one right off the landing that's where the radiator is original windows Got this <laughs> Pretty cool air conditioning. I bet this house was hot, and so they really upgraded. Okay, here's another cool built-in dresser. Um, this carpet is not new, so it is not highly trafficked. There's some stains. I would call it teal-ish. <laughs> Seafoam green. No, it's more blue. Okay, this one's a little bit more worn, and it's actually a different grade of carpet. But it is the, it connects to the second bedroom. Um, this one has had, these are affixed windows. And then these are the ones that can open. And they look a little bit, they are newer and wooden. And this is because this house is located in the Tacoma Park Historic District. So there will be a lot of regulations to follow here. Um, but this is typically where people put a, do the master suite using this space with the other bedroom. Okay. Going into the second bedroom, you can pretend it's closed off if you wanted to, um, but it has some unique aspects to it. There's the closet. The closet has a teeny tiny window that opens. Um, and this is... The second bedroom, I think I would say they're equal sized. Hall bath. Um, this is <laughs> also in good shape, fortunately and or unfortunately. Uh, cast iron tub. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This is probably over some pretty... Um, interesting. It's not even really put down and it's not new. Anyways, this might be the tile. I don't know what the shape it's in, but it feels really solid underneath my feet. Okay. Radiators here. This window has also been affixed to the old window. So it's a new window to look old on top of the original window. And then here's this space here. Right. Kind of gives you... It's a little nook. Okay. Just to also highlight some of the original knobs. There are all the glass knobs. Maybe there too. Okay. Back to the landing. Now to the third bedroom. You know, they're almost all equal sized. Um, this one faces the street. And they all have closets. None of them are super huge closets, but they're there. This is probably the smallest bedroom. And it looks like right now it has a double bed. It also faces the street and has a good sized closet. Let's see the roof, the shingling roof. Here. I'm not so great at telling the condition 
the inspectors often say it's not good to have the moss growing on it. You can kind of tell if it needs replacing if it starts to curl up. Um, so, and at the end, they seem to have like a grate over the gutters because there's a big tree here. If you ever want that cut down, good luck. Okay. Now going up to the attic. Okay. More carpet. They all seem to be variant colors of blue. And here are the dormers up there. Let's see. Um, it has been turned into an owner suite, but um, I don't know if you can see me, but I, it's not very much taller than me. I'm 5'2". So, though this space is finished and you could completely use it, the space here, the head, the head space here, I can touch it. So it's probably six feet. I think it's about six feet tall here underneath these beams. What's this? Please say it's a laundry chute. No, it's just a drawer under the eaves. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know if I would consider this space as usable as they're using it, but everything is in good shape. Here's a second bathroom. I mean, it could be a really cute kid's room. They could have play space and sleeping space and kind of feels like a secret. Okay, down to the basement. Okay, here we go. Down to the basement. Um, here is the head space. I think if you're any taller than like six, two, you're going to hit your head. 150 amps, but I think they have a secondary box with 50 amps. So I think they have a total of 200 amps coming in. Not sure, but that's a replaced window. Let's see the closet, linoleum floor. This is just a laminate, manufactured wood kind of thing. They've made a closet here. Okay, so let's see if I can. So you kind of land in here, which is a waiting room for the basement with just storage, storage. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Workshop. It's pretty big. The ceiling height is probably seven feet in here before you hit the pipes. Big old boiler. That all looks really well done. Um, the water line coming in is lead. There you can see the lead bulb. Um, pretty common. I think it was also at New Hampshire. I'd have to double check. Um, here are a workbench, laundry, and then the sewage line coming. So the sewage line is still the cast iron connected with PVC pipe. Just to let you know. And then here are the drain lines also. Secondary sewer lines, drain lines. Um, the sewage lines, the cast iron last about 100 to 120 years. So some people's cast iron sewage lines are starting to um, needing replacement. It's expensive. It's about 20000 and um, And a lot of developers don't replace them when they redo the houses. So I don't think the one at New Hampshire had been replaced just to kind of note. Uh, they seem to have, that's a filter for the refrigerator. Um, this just is a room definitely just used for lots and lots and lots of storage. Mm -hmm. Built in the ceiling height here varies, but the floor does seem very 
level. Uh, at least not big slopes. It does feel like it slopes over here. The other house felt like it had cracked concrete underneath. This one does not. Okay, so there's one over here. Oh, this is all actually in really solid shape. Ceiling height in here is probably seven and a half feet. Can you see me in there? Um, I'm so short, but I think if I reach, maybe about seven to seven and a half. Um, this is the water line. It's been cut off. That's the silver galvanized pipe. You see a galvanized pipe has the um, resting. And so people, those often freeze faster than copper, which is this. And this is connected to the plumbing for the outside spigot. Entrance from the back. This must be to the garage. It's a lot of space in here. Concrete and brick is under that addition, that porch addition. It so far looks like it's in great condition. Does not, it dips down here, gets really tall. It smells a little moist. Um, oh, that's why there's a sump pump. That's great. So it's really dry in the basement. There must be a, um, and then this is sort of like the utility area where the sump pump is. Those are the, that's the sewer line, another sewer line. That's all been replaced with PVC. It's a sad piece of art. Okay. Kind of cool. Okay, here's the porch again. I just had a nice long discussion with the listing agent. He was the one here. And here is the. Okay, I'm gonna go off the front and look at the side again. Okay, coming down the front. There is a beautiful side walk to the large tree. It's a heritage tree. We can tell you more about that. Um, okay, so they kind of have a gutter system and they have these, but you can see some of it's coming apart to filter water away from the house. And that's kind of where we came from. You see the water. I mean, it's in meticulous shape. So the owner is a 90 year old man who just lost his wife and has moved back to Massachusetts to be living near his children. Um, the listing agent shared that he couldn't have them lift the carpets up even though there's wood underneath because he was just so attached to the carpets that his wife had picked out and the colors that his wife had picked out when they painted the house. So there we are, 5-2 Aspen.